Hey guys, this is Ricky, and here is how I change the modes on my gimbal. So I set it up so that the first position of the six position switch is the FPV follow me mode. So it goes to the left, it goes to the right, it goes down. So it just kind of dampens it a little bit. So if no mode is set in the modes tab, that's the default one. The next one is pitch lock mode. The pitch lock mode. So it takes the pitch and it locks it so that no matter where you go, it's going to stay locked. So I can adjust it to where it is that I want it and it stays. The next one is Horizon lock mode, so it, no matter where it goes, it makes sure that the horizon stays locked. FPV follow mode. So you can go back to the follow mode, and then I have one that gimbal locked. It locks the gimbal, so FPV follow mode. So if I'm looking this way or looking up, let's say, and then I push this button. Mode. It's going to gimbal locked. get the gimbal right in the front. It's still going to dampen things, but I think it does a fantastic job. This is the gimbal that I got. It's the C20T. Walksnail rebranded this as the GM3. What's nice about this is I was able to get this on Amazon, and it came with all the cables, and it had the little USB cable that you can use to program it with. Let's take a look at iNav to see how I did this. Over in the Modes tab, there is a Gimbal section. And in the Gimbal section, even though there's three modes, there's a Follow Me mode, and there is a Pitch Lock mode, and a Horizon Lock mode, you don't see the Follow Me mode. So how mine is set up on my six position switch, you could do this with the three position switch too. If no mode is selected, it, the follow me mode, the default one is selected. And for most pilots, I think that's the one that you're going to want to use. But if you want to make sure that the pitch stays locked, the tilt, pitch lock mode. I push that button and it moves the channel 12 over a little bit so that that one's highlighted. So now the pitch is locked in place. If I want to lock the horizon, horizon lock mode. it scooches, scooches over a little bit more, and then now the horizon is locked. Now, I think this is turning the head tracker on and off. I do that differently because I don't have a compatible VTX. Um, but if I just need to center the gimbal, I can gimbal locked. center the gimbal so it locks it. Um, this makes it so that my sliders on the side don't move it around, but if I want to go back to the default mode, which is the follow me mode, there is no mode for that. So the how you select that is by selecting no modes at all. FPV follow mode. So that is how I set the modes on mine. Um, if we look over at the CLI, um, this is what I've been playing with. Here's where I was able to choose my pan channel. My goggles don't output the roll. Here is my tilt channel. Um, I haven't changed the sensitivity any. Um, I haven't changed the trim any. This is what I've been kind of playing with um, just so I can make my artificial horizon match with the actual horizon. And then um, here's where I have the UART is off even though it's hooked up to it. Um, over in the configuration tab, here is where I have my stuff. I guess here's another place where you can set the gimbal sensitivity. Here is where you select the channels that you want. Um, here's the kind of head tracker that I'm using. And so far, everything works fantastic. Hope this helps anybody.